Color here and today we are going to learn how we can display the both the image, the name, everything that we did in the previous lesson on the user cards. So yeah, I'm going to grab the go ahead and grab the application, the project, and we are going to learn how we can populate the, this cards view with the images that we got in the last lesson, as I've said. So first of all, we are going to take care of one thing. Uh, which is in the activity main I I forgot in the past lesson to set the width and the height to match parent and because of that it, it wasn't showing so make sure you fix that and one other, another thing is to this is purely cosmetic but I believe it would look better to change the background color to white okay now that that's done let's go ahead and take care of the, the item we are going to make some changes to it in order for it to be easier to, to, to look at. And the first thing we are going to do is to make this larger. And so we are going to give it 300 dp width and 350 dp height. Okay? And we are going to make one important change, which is from frame layout to linear layout, setting the orientation obviously to vertical. That way it will look a lot like the, um, the Tinder app in, a, in and of itself. So now in the image view, you are going to make it cent uh, the scale type center cro crop. And what's that going to do is to basically uh, make it so that the shorter side of the image, whether it be height or width, touches the edges. That way you'll lose some of the image, but you'll make sure that the image occupies the whole uh, image view, which will be will have a, a height of 300 dp. Okay, so now let's make the, the text go to aligning the left side because that's the way Tinder has it. So make a, a vertical line. I don't know how that's called and uh, then say left okay and padding left 20 sp that way it looks nicer and a uh, smaller text i believe would work better okay that looks good enough for now so we can go ahead and take care of the the code uh, the main code so first of all uh, as you i don't know if you remember but in the ray adapter which is the the class that populates the, the cards, uh, we get the, the information from this card item, which is of the type cards, okay? Which is this class here. And each card will have uh, a class of this kind attached to it. And so it has the name and user ID, which is what we do in here. Let me just look in here. This is what we do to populate this cards class, and then this cards class will populate, will help us populate the the card uh, view. Okay, so um, what we need to do is first of all add a profile image URL. URL, okay. Then just make a, a double. Uh, make another copy of everything because it is exactly the same okay profile image and now we will take care of the functions because we'll have the get profile image and the set profile image profile image URL and then set profile image URL as well then just grab that variable and attribute it to every Thing. and okay that's all that we need to do to get the the profile image of the current user that's been shown in the card layout so now, now to get that information now to display it it is a bit different so let's go inside a readapter and the the problem is in or better yet, the, what we need to change is this image.set image resource because that's the only thing that at the current moment changes. And we are going to use glide as well for this as we did in the settings uh, activity. 
and so simply say glide dot with get context dot load card item which is this card right here in this uh, specific position so card item dot get profile image url and it will show up right here dot into this image view so image right there and yeah i believe that's everything that we need to do oh uh, and now obviously just one more thing inside the main activity where we add an item we must also add the profile image and so to do that we can simply double the name and change and now instead of name it is profile image url okay so that's everything done and over with let me just check this name is correct i believe it is okay so yeah uh okay so just one more thing that i'm going to, to say if you wanted to do uh, if you didn't want to make a, a departure between men and female and you want the user to choose within the app then you could do it and then simply in here said uh, say uh, you can say and data snapshot dot child sex or whatever uh, equals something and that way you'll keep every user under the same child and then just at the moment at, that you are going to grab the user you make the distinction between male and female or not i don't know so yeah i just got some people asking about that and it isn't really that hard to change the code into it and i don't know maybe i will change it because it becomes more general generalized you know so yeah but for now let's run the app and see if what we did in this lesson works out so so the app loaded successfully let's going to log in wait a second and there we go we have the the male's image uh, right here and male's name and everything and it, as you can see it really is really easy to add more information if you want to to each card it is still moving it is still doing everything i can pull up the the database here you can still dial and connections yep right there okay so yeah everything is working just fine Again, thank you all very much for watching. I have uh, a PayPal link down below if you are if you want to donate and if these uh, lessons are being helpful to you, please consider it. Uh, I'm trying to do as best best of job as I can, but it is really hard with the current setup that I have. Even though it is the best for its price point, but it is still it still lacks somewhat for video editing and everything that's around it so yeah again thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow Ciao.